From your local election headquarters, this is Big Country Politics on KTAB. And welcome back. It's estimated student loan debt now tops more than $1.5 trillion. Paying for those loans can be difficult, and experts say the key is to plan ahead. Elise Preston reports. Megan Combs went to college to pursue her dream of working in the arts, but the 32-year-old is still paying off her student loans. Around this time last year, I owed about 66000 in student loans. On average, college students who graduated in 2018 owe more than $29,000 in loans. Here's your quick back-of-the-envelope formula, and that is only borrow the total amount of money that you think you'll make in your first couple of years of work. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger is the author of The Dumb Things Smart People Do With Their Money. She says the best strategy is to avoid student loan debt in the first place. We want to start having conversations with our children, maybe when they're in eighth or ninth grade, and talk to them and say, here is what this family can afford. Those discussions might reveal the family can save money by considering schools nearby. Maybe it's better if I go close to home. Maybe I need to go to a state school or a community college. Schlesinger says for students who are facing debt, the first step is to go through your budget and try to get high interest loans paid down. That's what Combs did. She took on a roommate and received a raise at work. That's allowing her to pay off her debt faster. My timeline for paying off my student loans this time last year was around 10 years. And now with my living situation and my raise, all of that allows me to pay them off in four years. She's hoping for another raise, which could help her do it even sooner. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. And experts say it's also important that parents continue to fund their own retirement while helping a child get through college. All right, now to our eye on education. This time we're taking a look back, a look back at the old Franklin Middle School. That's my old school. The gymnasium is still standing in the center of the Martinez campus, and our Jessica Rank getting to relive some of those memories with someone who walked through those, floor, through those floors nearly 40 years ago. The sounds of the ball hitting the floor and shoes running down the court come flooding back as Coach Bobby Black You know, you go back in the past. Paces down the sideline once again. I walked in this gym 51 years ago, and basically it's the same as it was then. The only exception was it wasn't a building nestled in Martinez Elementary, but in the heart of Franklin Middle School. Lots of good basketball games and lots of school dances. But for Coach Black, this place... This was my office for 38 years. Spending that time as athletic coordinator. Like signs that we put up. The teachers, we were a family, and we worked together. They helped us in athletics. We helped them in the classroom. So it was, it was a great place to work. And as he walks through his old stomping grounds, he can't help but be proud that part of the past... This was our white room. ...has made it to the future. Some of the name tags of the last students that were here. With some of Abilene High names hitting that same court. Provides a uh, legacy that they remember. It's just hard grind, working hard. Keeping the memories and traditions alive while pressing forward. Yeah! In Abilene, with coverage you can count on, Just Rank, KTAB News. All right, bringing back a lot of memories. And still to come on Big Country Politics, Old Man Winter made his appearance last week, and we have some of that video for you coming up. <laughs> 